If you want it's Emily Fox. Today's video is gonna be my reading challenge slash vlog for the week, possibly more. I asked you on Patreon which one you wanted to see first and obviously you voted for the one that would torture me the most, which I approve. It's probably gonna be something that's gonna be ongoing. I'll try it once in a while, not every month, obviously, but I wanted to give authors a second chance slash last chance to change my mind. So I chose two but possibly three authors that I read one book from that I didn't really care for and I wanted to try something else by them because I am interested in it, not because I want to bash it or something. I just generally want to try it and we'll see how it goes. If it goes badly, I will never read anything else by them. If it goes well, then I'm open to reading more by them. So let me go through the two or possibly three books and you'll see why. The first author is Erin Morgenstern, which uh, she's the author of The Night Circus, which was every on booktube when I started watching like five years ago. And uh, I read it. I ended up giving it three stars, which is not bad, but it just wasn't something I expected. I feel like I was quite underwhelmed. Uh, everyone loves the writing style. I approve. The world building was great. It's very atmospheric, magical, kind of whimsical, very prosy. Like the, the writing is very... Uh, flowery, which is what people enjoyed. Um, personally, I was a little underwhelmed with the story and the ending especially. Basically, I had been told it was like a battle between two magicians and that's like really stretching it, I feel like, for a definition of the story, but whatever. Didn't hate it 100%, obviously, three stars. But uh, she finally came out with a second book, The Starless Sea, which uh, came out earlier this year. I have actually the audiobook from my library. I decided to go with the audiobook because one, the waiting list was shorter, not gonna lie. But second of all, I feel like if the writing is anything close to the night circus, it's something that will be beautiful to listen to. And I do enjoy in general audiobooks. So I have that on my phone right now. Uh, the audiobook is 18 and a half hours. <laughs> I rarely listen to audiobooks at speeds like one time. Usually it's like 1.25 or 0.5 depending on the speed of the narrator. Uh, I did test it and the voice is good, so we're good. I am going to be listening to that one as an audiobook. So the second author I'm gonna give a last chance to is Christopher Aulini, the author of Aragon. I should have started with that. Um, I read Aragon three years ago, I think. Again, pretty early in my booktube journey. And uh, it's a YA fantasy, everyone knows about it, but I didn't grow up reading it. So I tried to go into it with pretty low expectations, but <laughs> still really did not care for it. I tried physical book, could not get into it. I tried uh, the audiobook to finish it, which made the writing even more painful, not gonna lie. I'm fully aware I wrote it as a child, blah, blah, blah. I know, but it was still published. Like, I, I don't care. I'm still allowed to <laughs> read it and have an opinion on it. Really didn't care for it. Uh, I did, I think it was included in the past, like, worst books that I've read that year. And I made, I recreated a scene, like a dialogue, how painful it was. It was just very awkward. Did not care for it whatsoever. So I was not planning on reading anything else by him, but he just came out, like, now with an adult sci-fi, which I love sci-fi. So I decided to give it a shot. Actually, I asked for the... Um, arc as it was coming out like that week and they gave it to me. So I'm going to be reading the arc on my Kindle, which actually I left upstairs, but yes, I'm going to be reading To Sleep in a Sea of Stars that he just came out with. I'm actually excited. The reviews so far are pretty divided. Uh, this book is 850 pages, which worries me because The Starless Sea is like 500 pages. So it's two big books to try and get to, but obviously one audiobook, one physical, ebook, whatever. Uh, so I'll, I'll go back and forth depending on what I'm doing. Um, and attempt to read both of them. I've been saying three because uh, I don't have access yet to the third book. If I do get access to it this week, I'll get to it. If not, I'll try to just read it before the end of the year or I'll just do a second <laughs> vlog like this. Um, but I'm currently on the waiting list for it. Uh, the audiobook was also shorter, so we're gonna attempt that slash the author might be, her writing might be better to listen to. Um, the author is Naomi Novik. I attempted to read Uprooted a few years ago again on booktube and it seemed like it was going to be something right up my alley because it's a woman who is kidnapped by a dragon and she learns magic. Turns out, not a spoiler, it's literally the first chapter, the dragon is actually human, a man, and um, I put down the book. I wasn't even 50% into it because first off the magic system annoyed me so I hate when it's like, ooh, I, I cannot. Uh, <laughs> I get very aggressive over this. Uh, I just didn't like it. Slash, there was a romance that was starting and it seemed super abusive and I'm just, 
I no, I already not a fan of romance, even more if it's abusive. So I never finished it. But uh, she came out with a deadly education, like right now, once again, it's like a vlog of new releases, but um, my library just got it like yesterday and I put my name on the waiting list and um, they're saying I still have six weeks to wait, but they only have two copies right now. So if they get more, I might be able to get my hands on it once I'm done with the Starless Sea. We'll see how it goes. Uh, if I DNF any of these two books, maybe I'll switch it up for this one. We'll see, we'll adjust as it goes. But yes, I'm starting tonight probably. Today's day zero. I probably will not have time to start tonight. So tomorrow the vlog officially starts. So yes, these are two, possibly three authors I'm going to be giving a second slash last chance to impress me. <sighs> Wish me luck, I'm gonna need it. Okay, so um, day one, I finished working and I decided for some reason that it would be great to torture myself and attempt to make some apple pie. My dad has an apple tree, so he brought me some. So I have like a million apples to try and do stuff with. So I'm gonna try to do that. There might be some tears. There might be some tears. Oh, and obviously since it's a reading vlog, I'm gonna be listening to The Starless Sea as I'm doing this. I'm pretty sure I've aged at least 10 years just from the stress of doing this. Um, I apparently cannot follow very easy instructions <laughs> from the internet. I was trying to make like a pretty top, which obviously big mistake. Um, I cut off at least 10 apples, uh, 20 I mean, at least 20. Uh, I had enough to do the apple uh, pie and then I made this like apple crumble thing that I'm gonna put, ooh, you can see my mess in the background, nice. Probably will shame me to clean it. Um, so yeah, I had enough to make that apple kind of crumble, but not really apple cinnamon thing that I'll just mix with my oatmeal in the morning. I took pictures I attempted to film. You could probably hear me cry, so no. Uh, pictures of the apple crumble thing. And then I can show you the uh, apple pie. It's currently in the oven. I should have done that before, but got overwhelmed. It's currently in the oven, but you can see it. It's not that bad. I'm probably very harsh on myself. So yeah, I'll show you when it's done, but it has a good like 45 minutes left in there. So yay, uh, I survived. Oh, I listened to the audiobook. Uh, I think I'm at least two hours into it, but I'm listening to it at like 1.4, I think speed, which is not that fast. I know it sounds fast if you've never listened to audiobook, but it's not fast. So now while this happens, I will go and start reading uh, To Sleep in a Sea of Stars, which a lot of stars, huh? So yeah. I need to calm down, <laughs> clearly. My phone's gonna be shaking while I'm talking. You know, it's kind of ugly, but I'm still proud of it. I, <laughs> you can tell how anxious I got over this, but uh, it still needs to go back in there a few minutes before I eat it. But uh, it's too early, so I wanted to wait until last minute to put it back in there. But yeah, I did it. I survived it. So we are day two and it's about eight o'clock at night and I am finally updating you on today's reading. I am clearly at the end of the day. <laughs> um, I did a lot of listening to the audiobook today while doing stuff and you know, getting ready and showering last night and stuff. And I was editing the clips from yesterday and wow, you really can't tell I suffer from anxiety whatsoever. Really can't tell. Um, <laughs> So the good news, I am now six hours into the audiobook out of 18 hours, I think. So I'm like a third into it already. Um, my impression so far is that the writing is beautiful. It's definitely great to listen to as an audiobook. Like I went on a walk and it was very whimsical with like the wind and everything because it's fall. Obviously here, the leaves, well, <laughs> the ones that are still left on trees, it's pretty. But I have no idea what the story is about. I'm a third into it. So that's kind of similar to the night circus but let's talk about book number two um i'm reading it on my kindle and i'm about to start my reading for today uh last night i read one chapter i, I think this is it all because honestly um i'm not feeling it so far obviously it's just one chapter i'm two percent into the book <laughs> um i don't know the writing not really working for me but again it's very early um, to be fair, it doesn't start good for me because it starts, it's literally a woman describing how in love she is, like, just a, what she tells herself in her brain about it. And I'm not a romance reader, so that didn't start great, uh, but obviously it's super early, I'm very hopeful it's gonna pick up and the writing will magically start working for me. Uh, so that's why I'm saying it's 8 o'clock right now and I'm going to be starting my reading 42. How terrible of me would it be to DNF a book after two chapters? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking about right now. 
it's been two, three days since my last update, and um, it's not going great. I'm kind of forgetting to update because of that. Um, the Starless Sea, which, ooh, if it weren't for this challenge, just being honest, I would have DNF'd it. I just really want to give it like a last chance since it's the goal here, but it is painful, so painful. Uh, I'm 85% into the audiobook, and I got to the point where I literally borrowed a different audiobook from the library because I I don't want to finish it. Um, I actually got uh, Mexican. I borrowed uh, Mexican Gothic, which I'm only 10% into it. But yeah, I'm kind of giving up on the other one. But I have like eight or nine days, I think, left for loan. So I will finish it slowly, eventually. Um, I have time because I'm definitely not done with the ebook of the starless no not the starless sea the um, to sleep in a sea of stars i am 24 percent into that one which is not super far but it is a really big book like it's 850 pages uh it's definitely getting better so the uh the ebook i have no issues it's just that i've been really busy in the last couple of days so i'm hoping in the next couple of days i'll be able to actually make some decent progress probably tomorrow uh but yeah things are not doing great i don't even know what to tell you for the audiobook honestly like i feel like it's one of those books that, like, you either get it or you don't, and clearly I don't. Like, I can agree that the writing is whimsical, but, like, it's not working for me. The story is not going anywhere to me. Like, I feel like I have to, like, I yeah, I don't even know what it is about at this point. <laughs> like, I'm barely exaggerating. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just pushing through. Uh, things are really picking up with this one. Um... There's quite a bit happening already, so I'm like wondering if it's going to be sustainable and uh, if I'm going to eventually get bored or if it's just going to continue being this intense. So good sign for this one, not so much for the audiobook. My precious, my day doesn't start as badly with this in my belly or in my cup, I should say. Okay, so I think we are two days later since I updated. I don't even know at this point. Um, so I wanted to update you while I drink my coffee because I do have to work in a little bit. So, update, uh, I did finish the Starless Sea. Ooh, it is early. I need caffeine. Um, I'm going to have like more time to think about it in upcoming days. I was going to say before my wrap-up at the end of the month, but I mean, I guess maybe in this vlog too at the end, the last day or something. But it feels like it's something like I can see why people would like it the writing-wise. I can see like the metaphors and blah. But to me, it was just painful. I totally regret finishing it. Honestly, I only did it for this challenge, for this video, this challenge. Um, yeah, right now I'm kind of just feeling resentful. Um, I don't have access to a deadly education, at least as of today. Uh, currently, I'm just listening to the other one I was listening to. Uh, they're current. Well, I didn't check today, but yesterday were telling me still five weeks. I still had seven people in front of me or something. So. Probably not gonna happen for this vlog, sadly, but maybe an upcoming one. And I think I'm only 40% into the uh, ebook To Sleep in a Sea of Stars. It's actually good. Uh, I don't love the writing. I don't necessarily. I do feel like some of the characters are feeling a little too deep, but overall, I'm enjoying it. I just wonder how sustainable this intensity will be for the whole thing. I feel like it's it started really intense quite fast, which is not a bad thing. It's just again 850 pages, so how sustainable is it? And I just find myself not wanting to pick it up and I don't know if it's just me because quarantine I've been feeling slumpish, although I thought I was done. So maybe this ch challenge wasn't a great idea. Uh but overall I'm enjoying it. It's not can't put it down clearly, but I'm enjoying it. So it's been almost a week since I've last updated you and I thought it was time for me to sit down and just admit it. Um, this idea was fun, brilliant really. Uh, I was really, very much hopeful these authors would redeem themselves with their newest work and no. Uh, I already kind of shared my thoughts on uh, The Starless Sea, but even with more time to digest it, I, no. Uh, just an author, it's time for me to just admit. Her work doesn't work for me and it's okay. Uh, as far as to sleep in a sea of stars, uh, last time I don't even know where I was at, like 25% I think. Uh, I'm currently officially at 56% and I can't do it anymore. Last clip you saw, I was you know, super excited to continue reading and what did I end up doing? Um, I, I filmed some cute clips of me 
about to read. Uh, and then I wasted way too much time uh, playing with this TikTok filter, which, oh my, um, I think we all can't, I don't think anyone can actually manage to make it work. And <laughs> frankly, uh, it's been almost a week, like I said, I've been reading this book for what, two weeks, and I'm only 56% into it. Technically, I can't even tell you what's not working for me. I don't really care for the writing style. I feel like it's very cold and very much like battle oriented. I, I don't know how to describe it. it. And it just doesn't work for me. I don't really care that much about the characters. Uh, usually I will read a book, even a bigger book, like in two weeks, you know, max 800 pages. I can read that. I can't, <laughs> I just can't do it with this one. So I might just try and spoil it for myself and see reviews that has the ending. But frankly, at this point, I don't even care. Um, so yeah, it's just unfortunate. There's nothing wrong per se. I, I just don't care. Sadly, both of these authors will end up in a future version of me mentioning a list of authors that don't work for me, that I will never read anything else by if you're interested in my last one. I even had fun uh, trying to convince the cat to like me. done it. I touched a kitty. So it is what it is. I am officially giving up on both of these authors. Is it really a fail for this challenge if I'm deciding like officially not to read anything else by them? Probably not. So not so much a fail, I think, for this reading challenge. I'm still very much willing to attempt it with different authors in the future. Uh, probably not right now because frankly it did put me a little bit in a slump. <laughs> and I had just come out of it, so mm -mm. If you have read any of these books, please let me in the comment section how you personally felt about it because just because I didn't like them doesn't mean you felt the same way or if you feel the same way, please let me know because frankly, ooh. I'll probably share more thoughts on them in my wrap up at the end of the month. And like part of me, not gonna lie, I kind of want to say that, oh, maybe in the future I'll pick it up again, you know, the to sleep in a sea of stars, but no. Don't lie, Emily, you won't. <laughs> so that's gonna be it for this reading vlog. I hope you still enjoyed it. Thumbs up, subscribe. I will be putting on the screen more videos that I recommend you check out, including the one I just mentioned about uh, authors I'm not planning on reading and get anything else by them ever again. And I will see you in an upcoming video very soon. Bye.